Is there an actual career in IT for building computers? Stay tuned. Yo, what's going on guys? This is Zach with IT Career Questions and today we're tackling that question because I get it very, very often. Are there careers out there for it? Is that something that you can do? Yes, however, they are very limited. It's not really something that, you know, a lot of different, you know, businesses hire for specifically, but there are like HP repair technicians or Dell repair technicians, IBM uh, or Lenovo, I should say, Lenovo um, repair technicians. And you do that stuff. You will do, you know, hardware swaps, motherboard swaps and different things like that. And you have to go and travel. Sometimes th these things get sent to you. I think there's, um, you know, a, a few places in the U.S. that have um, like a central hub where you send, you know, like your computer into and they'll do like those types of um, hardware swaps and things like that, you know, for the, the big manufacturers. Um, I know for Lenovo, I sent something to their um, repair address and the next thing I know it came back from like China or some sh something, you know, I just was kind of confused by that because it went one place and then they sent it off to another place and then it came back from, you know, another place. It was, it was confusing. I'm sorry. Anyway, yes, you know, you can do it. You just have to find it. You know, it's, it's not something that's really a big career. It's not something that, you know, you hear about all the time that you hear, um, these places are hiring all the time. And quite frankly, I don't know, you know, how much longer stuff like that is really going to be, you know, needed, you know, the price of computers has come down so much that a lot of businesses, you know, they'll just replace it with, you know, something new, right? They'll just swap it out. They have a warranty or whatever. They'll send it out to where God knows wherever. And then of course, what's coming now is a lot of, you know, the IOT type of stuff, the tablets, you know, the dummy terminals, like wise terminals and things like that, you know, little Citrix boxes that really are very, very dumb. There's nothing in them besides like a motherboard basically. And that's going to limit a lot of what's happening right now with the hardware side of things. So thinking about it right now, it's like, okay, well right now you probably could get a job somewhere doing stuff like that, but I don't know how much longer that stuff is going to be around and heavily needed. In my personal advice, in my personal opinion, I would never look to get into this field only doing repairs like that, only doing hardware. There's, there's not much there for it. Um, there are also people I should mention that uh, repair servers, they'll swap out hardware and servers, they go on site. Uh, IBM, for instance, you know, with servers and things like that, they actually have people who fly out if you have an issue with your server. I don't know where they fly out from. Uh, last guy I talked to, he was flying out from like Philadelphia or something, uh, came to us in the middle of nowhere and he swapped out, um, they swapped out a fan and a server. You know, they sent them out just for that, to swap out a fan, which is something that we totally could have done. That's the other thing, you know, a lot of the techs that get hired in, in different aspects of this field will do the repairs on site. They'll swap out, you know, a lot of basic things. I'll never do a motherboard though on a laptop. Just saying, those suck. But anyway, the, the point of this entire video and what I was saying with my opinion and everything is don't get in this field just wanting to do that. Do more do more. There's more to this field than just that. And again, it's not a lot of jobs out there for just hardware. So hope this helps you guys. I know it's a little bit all over the place and I apologize for that, but that's all I got for you guys today. So as always, take it easy.